Hey guys, peace, love, and light. Okay, first of all, can you see that by the tree? To me, I can see a man as the tree. Okay, that's just how much my third eye is so awake. Right there. Okay, right there. Look at the, that's fog. That's heavy, I, and I would be outside with my phone. It's at like 2%, and um, I just woke up. So Grand Rising, let me start there. Grand Rising, afternoon, evening. I'm beyond the spectrum. Peace, love, and light. I had the weirdest, wasn't a dream. Uh, somebody, a spirit came to me. It was crazy wild. And uh, she's having a hard time crossing over. And that's just the stuff I've dealt with, like my life, you know. Um, it's nothing really new to me. I don't get too afraid of what's going on. And I'm trying to fix the curtain, please excuse me. Um, but look at that. That's all fog. Oh, come on, man. Hold on. I'm sorry. I apologize. My witch's broom. <laughs> Jump in the broom. I love it. I do, I do. Sorry. Peace, love, and light. Stick with me for here for a second, okay? So this is fog around that tree. And I can see the elementals in it as well. I see... I'm going to do this. I see two, two uh, um, staring at each other in the face right there, and there's one in the tree, but my point is the ancient ones are here, and, and they're here. I mean, I keep saying it over and over and over again, but, like, th this is, like, 7 o'clock in the morning here, and look at this. And this weather's been like this for three days. Halloween's approaching. That blue moon is approaching. This is some serious energy coming in, guys. Hey, not, not coming in, it's here. Rephrase that. Serious. All right, not, don't be afraid, though, okay? Please don't be afraid. I guess if you're in a fear-based state, I understand, I understand, but don't, like, I don't know. If you just saw what I saw when I woke up, I don't know, maybe it would freak you out, but I'll tell you a little bit about it. It was my ex... And I believe it was my ex. He just lost his person. I don't know if he's my twin. I feel like we're twins, but whatever. That's a whole nother situation. Um, we have a serious soul bond. And she just died in a car accident. She, I don't know if she had gotten herself sober or not, but she wasn't. When not last I knew. And um, she just came, she just came to me. I think she's stuck. I think she's having a hard time crossing over. And like her face was, she she was blonde. And um, I was getting visions of her and her kids. And it, and it wasn't pretty. Um, but I could see her face like beaming red. Like and all like pitted like, a per, like an active addict would be. Depending on what you were using. And uh... It was, I don't know, it was like a confrontation of like lying, lying. No, you're not. I can see right through you. And as soon as I said that, she disappeared. So that's what is going on in the supernatural realm and what will be happening, you know, with many of our star seeds here. You're going to have some weird, crazy visitors, I'm telling you. All right, so don't be afraid. Remember that you are love and light. Love is the ultimate power. It transcends everything. Now, I feel I woke up thinking and, and, and hearing Anubis is here. Anubis is here, okay? Why well, I know that, I don't know why I know that, but I know that. I don't know if I'd sit down and have tea with Anubis, but um, I don't fear Anubis either, and I don't. He is who he is. He does what he does. He weighs your souls. Are you worthy to go into the next life? And maybe not get stuck through this moon because the moon keeps us stuck here. It's a trapping mechanism to get recycled back down here. And when you go up there, they make you think that you have to come down here again to be recycled to work out fucking karma and you don't. Okay, you do not have to come back around to this realm of existence once you cross over. And that's what I told the woman in my dream. 
Well, you know, I even called in Archangel Michael. Because then I'm like, all right, Archangel Michael. Again, I get everybody has their roles in the spiritual world, but like, whoa, why are we getting, if you're here, Archangel Michael, and I'm not questioning Archangel Michael, please don't take it like I'm, because I have, I have nothing but love for my angels and my guides. But like, why would be, why would there be a system where we keep getting stuck here? Archangel Michael, you are the warrior, the battler. You are the most badass angel along with Metatron. Why would there be anything that is fruition to keep us in a loop here? Unless maybe we choose it and we don't know that we choose it. You know what I mean? Like there's so much to this is the stuff I think of. Like this is where my brain goes. And this is just who I am. You know, I'm deep. I'm really deep. I see beyond the spectrum. And um, this is what I woke up freaking on my brain. I had a visitor, my ex's person, who who just left her vessel here on Earth. And I do feel she's stuck. She keeps herself stuck in an active addiction state of stuck. And that was proof right there to me that she's stuck, you know. So, so I send her love and light. Some of them may come to you because they're stuck and they need your help. So don't be afraid of what you're seeing in your dreams and crazy stuff, you know. But that to me, all this fog, it's been like this for three days. The ancient ones are here. Very much prevalent, present here. Very present. Saturn is here kicking ass about karma. Because karma exists in this realm of existence, okay? Even though you don't have to continue with karma. And that's why we came down here in three waves of volunteers to say you don't need to keep repeating karma. Karma only exists in this realm of existence. You are a divine soul. What could you possibly do to, so bad that you want to keep staying stuck here? Let go. Something big is going down in the realms, guys. And it will affect us as above, so below. As above, so below, so below, as above. And what we do affects the realms. Big changes are coming. We're heading in. We are in Scorpio. I think today is the first day of Scorpio season, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was yesterday, but I feel like it's today through the, um, through the realms anyway. Scorpio season. A death. A rebirth, Halloween, a blue moon. These energies and deities are using all this energy to, to descend here. And we are the light. We are the light. This is our mission here, to send out the light to balance this, trans, this transcendence through this death, this birth. We are part of it. We have to send out our love and light, okay? This is how it's been in my neighborhood for three days. I've been looking at this stuff. I feel very much Anubis is here. I mean, I've been saying this for a while now. And um, it's not like a fearful thing because I don't fear. I really don't. Either that or I'm just wicked naive. I don't know. But I don't fear. I can get afraid. I'm not going to lie. But like, no. The ancient ones I'm not fearing because I'm feeling them. I'm very connected to them. I think we misunderstand a lot. I think just they are who they are. Again, some of them are not nice, no. And I would not sit down and have tea with them. But I'm also not going to fear either. I'm going to stay in knowledge and power and love and light. And not, you know not let this realm get me down. So, anyway, I just wanted to share this view, okay? Because it's been like this for days, this heavy fog, and that's Anubis. That's definitely Anubis, okay? Anyway, I hope you can see all the the elementals that I tried to capture and keep still. I'm going to make some coffee now. Peace, love, and light.